Hi, uh, a late one tonight, just got home from Wellington. Um, and uh, today's challenge was t uh, terrible twos. Um, and just say no. Uh, so, I've got my son calling me. Yes, James. You can watch me say no. No, James. Because it's bedtime, like sleep time. Yeah, maybe if you close your eyes and don't say anything and just breathe. Yeah, focus on your breathing, my baby. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, today's Kahal challenge number four was um, terrible twos and it was to get comfortable with saying no uh, when people ask things of you or ask you to do things so um, I didn't think I was going to have much opportunity to say no today um, because of the way the day was um, going to flow um, most of my no's went to either my son or to this other child I work with so um, <laughs> that was actually quite funny um, it has been something though that I like saying no to others so that I can say yes to myself um, has been a work in progress um, sometimes it, it, it hasn't it's got easier but it hasn't if that makes sense um, you're I'm more there are things that are clearer to say no to um, and then there are other things which I have to full-on sit in a space of re where the nose coming from or where the that where it's coming from, where the urge to say yes is coming from uh, whether it's coming from a space of um, me genuinely wanting to do it or uh, me doing it to please the others the other person the person that's asking or yeah and then there's the other part of that saying yes and it's to help that situation out. So, um, you know, it goes, it would, I suppose it would come back to what your values and what your goals are as to whether you say yes or no. Um, it used to be very difficult to say no to others. Um, it's gotten easier um, and it continues to to get easier because um, now the, well, the challenge when saying no to others um, is, yeah, is a refined process, if that makes sense. How does saying yes help you achieve what you're setting yourself up for, you know? Um, and how does saying, like does saying yes cover, what am I trying to say? I, I suppose, um, You can say yes to what's being asked as long as it aligns with your values and aligns with what you're trying to achieve. You can also say yes if, um, if it's not going to if you're just helping someone out. But you also gotta be, um, 
you got to be careful with air as well because when you're saying yes, 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 it starts to take away your time and energy from what you are supposed to do. Therefore, when you say yes to others, you're actually saying no to yourself. And that defeats the purpose of um, actually helping, you know, come from a, yeah, helping from a space of um, genuine care uh, attached to the values rather than helping from a space of um, pleasing others. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So, I suppose with this challenge, um, it's a, it's been a reminder, been a reminder of um, needing to refine. Oh gosh. When you have children and <laughs> you're told you should not say no to your children. Nah. <laughs> Some things with children you do have to say no to, eh? Um, I'm a bit tired tonight. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get on and get share, get this, get through this, share my nose. What did I say no to today? I said no to something. Ah, oh, yes. I said no to a couple of appointments certain times that did not align with my schedule that's that's getting easier um, not feeling the need to say yes to people who um, are needing to see you whether it be for training or for midi midi like if it doesn't fit in then with with the timing that you have available in the past I would have felt guilty and I would have felt really bad about not having the space um, or not creating the space, that's it, not creating the space to see the people. Um, now it's easy to actually say these are the times that are available, that time's not available, these are the times that are and um, it always flows. Hey? Um, Yeah. My no, my no, you know what? Uh, just sitting here thinking about it. My saying no journey started when I started running back in Korea. Um, uh, I went from being out, having, a, having more than a few drinks every weekend to, um, staying home getting into bed by 8 30 so I could get up for an early morning class love you too sister Syl love you too hey you up with the angels <laughs> um yeah so my that's when my no journey started you know saying no when people used to ask are you gonna come out no I'm go I'm, I've got, and I would say no because um, my priority was going for a run or I had boot camp the next morning. Um, and we used to have our, our whare in, in Seoul um, was, was open to, to our, our friends and friends who were whānau, our aing over there that needed a place to crash on the weekends. And so, 
it got to the point where everyone knew if you're going to come over to crash, yes, you're welcome to come over and crash after a night out. You just got to make sure you're quiet, you know. And so that's when my no journey started with regards to choosing me, doing something that was um, uh, that was to serve me. <laughs> hard out, hard out, Jay. Uh, girl, what are you still doing awake? <laughs> Cow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no, saying no is getting easier, uh, choosing where I'm saying no is getting a lot easier, um, but as I said earlier on, it's a work in progress, because uh, there are certain situations that pop up and it's like, oh, um, really want to do that and then got to sit and reflect on how is that going to serve what I'm wanting to achieve this year, this week, this this evening, whatever. So, um, and then there's, because there, there can be a thing where, where you're doing too much and expending too much time and energy going from here, there and everywhere. So if you just focus on, uh, follow on course until successful, um, then those I's will be dotted, the T's will be crossed, and yeah, your end goal will be achieved, or end goals. So yeah, that's, that's it, eh? Learn to say no. You guys try it as well. Even in the workplace, eh? Because you've always got people who, um, you know, give them a piece of string and they take a mile. Bro, yeah, I know. These are, um, these are my South American ones. I think I got these in Bolivia. Down at the bottom of a mountain somewhere. I like them. Um, but anyway. <laughs> um... Say no. Cow. <laughs> Cow. <laughs> um, practice saying no. I reckon if you've um, done a lot of mahi and um, done a lot of mahi, you begin to value your time and yourself eh, a little bit more um, because of the how you're getting to know yourself more and you're appreciating who you are and appreciating what you want to do whether it be in life or uh, personal or professional you begin to value your time therefore it becomes easier to say no to what holds no value hmm yeah, so I'm going to continue being a terrible two. I've just got a reminder that my bedtime <laughs> was hours ago. Um, yeah, so um, life is short, life is precious. Eh? Um, so Make sure that what you spend your energy on, what you focus your energy on, adds value to the life that you're living. Yeah. Just say no. Or pull the notes and say, Kao. Okay. Ka kite po mari e whanau. That's kahao challenge number four. The great thing is, with these challenges, they don't finish just because you finished doing the video, the skills that I'm still continuing on day to day, you know. I think the hardest one so far to maintain has been the eye gazing challenge. Um, or the eye gazing, like it's not a challenge anymore. Um, right now, gonna go moi, get ready for bed and hope I can make my 5am sesh 
Love you all. Jay, go to sleep. You too, Sister Syl. <laughs> Poor Marie. See you in dreamland.